Cooling the Flames Part 2, Practical Techniques for Anger Management Welcome back to our Anger Management series, Cooling the Flames. In the first part, we dived deep into understanding the anatomy of anger. Today, we're getting our hands dirty with practical techniques to keep the fire of anger under control. Section 1, Cognitive Restructuring Cognitive restructuring is a mental process that involves identifying and challenging negative thoughts or beliefs. It's about reshaping our thought patterns, creating a mental shift to more balanced and healthy thinking. It's not about denying or repressing our feelings. Instead, it's about looking at situations from a new perspective, a perspective that allows us to manage our emotions, including anger, more effectively. Section 2, Problem Solving. Problem-solving skills are also essential in managing anger. It's all about being solution-focused. When faced with a situation that triggers anger, instead of letting the anger control us, we focus on potential solutions. What can we do to change or improve the situation? How can we prevent this from happening again in the future? Let's discuss some concrete strategies. Step 1. Recognizing anger triggers. First, we need to identify what sets us off. Anger triggers can be people, places, or events that set off an immediate emotional response in us. It's like biting into a jalapeno without knowing it's spicy. By identifying these triggers, we can anticipate and prepare for our reactions. It's like being able to spot that jalapeno in your taco before taking a bite. Step 2. The Calm Down Techniques The next step after recognizing your anger trigger is to calm down before the flame gets out of control. One of the most effective methods is deep breathing. It's like the fire extinguisher for your burning emotions. Or think of it like slowly releasing the air out of a heated, about to burst balloon. Step 3. Constructive communication. Finally, it's about learning to communicate your feelings constructively. This isn't about suppressing your feelings but about expressing them in a way that's productive. It's like navigating a ship in stormy seas. You have to stay calm, keep focused and communicate effectively to reach the shore safely. Remember, anger is a natural emotion and managing it doesn't mean suppressing it. It's about understanding, controlling, and expressing it constructively. It's like being a fire juggler, handling each fireball with skill and precision. Remember, cooling the flames is a journey, not a one-time event. Stay tuned and keep those flames in check.